Hi and welcome back friends. In this video, I will share with you the full source code to build a virtual calculator based on OpenCV using Python language. I will explain to you step by step the source code and all the important libraries needs to achieve this work. Before go into details, I show you the demonstration part. So if you are interested, stay with me. As we see, the virtual calculator is above the live streaming from my camera USB. The program first detects my hand and in each frame calculate the distance between two fingers. If the distance is lower than the specific length, it detected as a click. I can write any arithmetic operation. When I click in the equal sign, the result appears in the display section. I can clear the display section by pressing C button in the keyboard. As an example, we have 55 multiplied by 5. The result is 275 divided by 9 minus 6. Let's see the result. So this is the result, 45.5. I clear by pressing C button. We have 67 minus 5. When I pressed equals, the result 62. I can also write the float number as we see. So to stop the program, I pressed key button. But don't worry, we try to explain everything step by step. So let's move into source code part. In the beginning, we need into two important libraries, MediaPipe and CV2. I show you how you can install each one. So I am using Anaconda Navigator. So go into CMD and click in the launch to install the libraries. First, type this command, pipe3 install CV2. And here we need CV zone for hand tracking. And of course, we need media pipe, the whole package. So, in my case, I installed all these libraries. You will find the whole script below the video in the description part. We have just one python script virtual calculator.py so let's see the source code first i import cv2 and cv zone for hand detector i also create here a class to facilitate the processing phase i initialize the constructor by the position width, high, and value. Because to draw here a rectangle, we need two points. So I explain this as we see in this figure. So this is the screen, blue rectangle. And here we have X axis and Y axis. Beginning from the above point, in the left side this is the rectangle field rectangle so we need point 1 and point 2 to draw a rectangle I initialize all these properties and here we have a draw function for the background calculator we need the position of the rectangle this is the starting point and this is the ending point and this is the color i choose this color so let's run for more understanding so this is the blue color and here i draw the border with this color 50 50 50 So this is the color border and here I put the text 
the value calculator. So we need the value and the position here plus 25 and here plus 40 because we need the value inside the rectangle and this is the color red so this is the class button we will return into check clicking function later here I initialize the CV2 video capture with my USB camera so here first we need to detect at least one hand and this is the detection confidence 0 0.8 so here this is the pattern for the button as we see one two three and plus so this is the same pattern and four five six minus and here we have a list button list here we have this nested loop start drawing the calculator from this point here we have 3050 pixel in the horizontal and in the vertical we have 100 pixel so here starting from 0 into 4 so here we have button list and I append each time the new object button so this is the width of each rectangle as we see here the same in the horizontal side and in the vertical side to store here the word equation from the calculator and here we need this variable to avoid duplicated value inside calculator in event writing I will explain to you this later the infinite loop starts from here while true so I read the image and I flip it why I flip it because if you don't flip it when I go with my hand into left position it appears as it, it is go into right side and when I go with my hand into right position it appears as it go into left so for that I flip it and here flip type force because we don't need to flip it in the second time just one time so here to draw the border and the background result placement I mean the display part so this is the display part as we see here so this instructions allows me to draw this display part so here we should to draw all the rectangles with the value for that I create this loop so because the bottom list contains all this value with positions here we should detect at least one hand if I detect just one hand so we need this property lm list y to recuperate the landmark number 8 and 12 to measure the distance so I show you so this is landmark number 8 and 12 so if the distance is less than the specific number it means or it appears as a click so for that I measure the distance so this function return the distance and information and the image so here I recuperate X and Y from LM list 8 so as I told you here I recuperate X axis and Y axis and if the distance is less than 50 I do this block 
So here we should to check which button was clicked. So here if button dot checked clicking. So here we have X and Y and let's check here in the method. If the X is bigger than position at index zero and less than position at index zero plus the width and the same for the Y that it means the button is clicked so if this condition is true so I do this event I change the background color into white the border stay the same and I make here the text bigger so let's see that so this is my hand so for example one so here I make this counter to avoid duplicated value for example if I click in the number one many ones appear in the same time for that I wait after 10 frame pass I make this condition because I did not add value into display calculator section after passing 10 frames if I click into equals so we have this function it automatically return result eval equation because the equation contains str value for the arithmetic operation and if I didn't click in the sign equals I concatenate the str variable and this line to display the result equation so cv to the put text I put the text in the this position inside the bigger rectangle and I choose this type of text and this is the thickness and this is the color and this is the size so here I show the image and here if I type C to clear the display calculator and key to stop the program I break from the infinite loop I wish this code source helps you and we will meet in the another videos.